Hi, if you're someone who's struggling to forgive someone who has done something wrong in your life, stay on with me today as we talk about a Bible character who forgave his brothers even when they tried to take his life in today's Bible banter. Welcome once again to this Bible banter series. It's really a joy for me once again to see you through this video. Well, I'm in a different place today and as usual, leave your comments and let me know where do you think I am? I know you can hear a lot of vehicles out there, so it might be an easy guess uh, or might be an interesting place for many, those who really don't know where this place is. So please leave your comments in a uh, comment section below and let me know what place do you think this is. Well, the last week the place where I recorded my video was Ravenous Park. Well, as I said in my introduction, today we are going to look about a Bible character who forgave his brother. He did not just forgive his brother, but he went beyond to love them and help them in the time of their need. And that Bible character is Joseph. Joseph was 11th son of Jacob. Now in this huge family of 12 brothers in all together, there was this young man whom God liked or with whom God communicated. God communicated with him through dreams and his father loved him but this young man had a problem he could not think before he spoke so when he had a dream from god about sun and moon bowing down to bowing down to him he just got up with a joy and shared it with his brother and he had another dream where he saw the bundles of grains which were kept in the field by his brothers and by joseph himself that the bundle of joseph stood in between and all other bundles bowed down uh, before him that included a bundle even by his father when he told his brothers his dream they really got jealous of him they thought what does he think of himself he's such a small boy in our family and he thinks that we're going to bow down before him but this was a god's serious message to joseph as i said previously his father loved him so his father also gave him a good colorful coat which gave his brothers another reason to be jealous of him. One day, when Joseph's brothers went far away in the field to, with the sheep to feed them, his father or their father got worried that they haven't treated for many days. So Jacob asked Joseph to take some food and go and look for his brothers and see if they're doing fine. So Joseph went in search of their brothers. He went there, he looked for them. And when they saw him coming from far away, his brothers were really jealous of him because he could not keep his mouth shut or he did not understand what to speak when. Because of that, his brother thought, oh, it's a good time for us to get hold of Joseph and do something really, really bad. So when they saw him, they said, here comes our dreamer. So as he came close, his brother took him and they beat him, took off his beautiful robe and threw him in a cistern. And while they were eating next to that cistern, they saw a caravan going uh, towards Egypt. So one of them thought it would be rather good to sell him to them so that we can also get some money. So then these brothers sold Joseph to this caravan. This caravan took Joseph to Egypt. Now look at this. He was most loved son in the family. From there, he was taken to Egypt. In Egypt, a man named Potiphar bought him as a slave. But when Joseph was there in Potiphar's house, Potiphar was happy to see the way Joseph worked and as he saw he gave him all the responsibilities in the house and Bible says that everything that belonged to house was under Joseph's uh, responsibility except uh, Potiphar's wife and as he continued to work there Potiphar's wife looked at Joseph lustfully and she really wanted to have a wrong relationship with Joseph. She looked for an opportunity where she can uh, approach Joseph for this but one day when Joseph was alone and she was alone she tried to make use of this opportunity but Joseph flee from the place leaving his clothes. Looking at this Potiphar's wife thought oh I am caught in the wrong place so she started shouting and put all the blame on Joseph saying that he tried to make take advantage of me. Hearing the story Potiphar asked Joseph to be thrown away in prison. Now in prison, Joseph continued to work there and the prisoner guard saw him that he's doing a good job. 
So again, he was given a responsibility in a prison. One day, while Joseph was walking in a prison, he saw two prisoners because they were sad, because they had seen a dream in the night. And when Joseph spoke with them, he told them what the dreams meant because God spoke with him. After a few days, as Joseph has told them about their dreams, exactly those things happened in their lives. But Joseph had told them one thing, do remember me when you go back to a normal life. One morning, a pharaoh in his court was really disturbed because he had seen some dream. And on that day, this man, this prisoner who had spoken with Joseph, reminded Pharaoh that there is a person in our prison who can interpret the dreams. And so Joseph was brought in front of Pharaoh. Pharaoh told Joseph about his dream and Joseph, with the help of God, could tell Pharaoh what his dreams meant. Listening at this, Pharaoh had a thought that if God can tell him the meaning of a dream, God would certainly guide him in doing what is best for this country. So the Pharaoh made Joseph in charge of Egypt. Here comes an interesting part. The dream of Pharaoh was that after seven years, there would be a famine and there would be no food, no water in the whole area. And exactly that happened. People had no food to eat. And Joseph being in charge in those seven years, he made sure that there is enough storage made and enough food for everybody in Egypt. But surrounding it, people from surrounding areas started coming in Egypt and asking for food. One day, while, while Joseph was in his courtyard, he saw a few men walking into his court. Joseph recognized who they were. But being away from Joseph for so many days, his brothers could not recognize him. Joseph gave them food grains. Joseph said, please bring your younger brother Benjamin with you. So next time when they came, they brought Benjamin with them. And then Joseph took them to one side of the court and told them that I am your brother Joseph. Listening at this, the, all the brothers were scared because they thought, now he will do something really bad to us. He might kill us or he might put us in a prison. But my dear friends, hear what Joseph did is a real example to all of us. He did not kill them. He did not throw them in a prison. But he loved them. He forgave them for what they had done. Not only he gave them the food grains, but he made a special place for them in Egypt and asked uh, his brothers to bring their whole family so that they all can be healed. Friends, what do we learn from the story of Joseph? Remember, Joseph had seen a dream. And after many years after that, God fulfilled that dream in his life. Many times God might speak to us. Many times we might fail to wait upon the Lord. But Joseph did not move away from what God had told him. Secondly, and the most important thing, Joseph flee away from the temptations of this world. Joseph was a handsome young man, that's what the Bible says. It would have been easy for him to accept the offer made by Potiphar's wife, but he chose not to do it. And he did not give in the temptations, but he flee from the place. Dear friends, in our life when we face temptations, let's run away from those places. Let's get rid of those things that forces us to sin. And finally, Joseph loved and forgave his brothers. Let us forgive those who does wrong in our life. Let us love everybody and let God's love be seen through our life. Well, I'll leave you with two questions so that you can just open up your Bible to search on net and let me know the answers in the comment section below. How many Josephs do you find in Bible? Think about it. What was the other name Joseph was given when he was in charge of Egypt? Well, that's easy. You can just search in Google and let me know. It's just so that we would grow together in God's word. And also don't forget to mention the name of this place in the comment section below. It's a beautiful place. I really love this place just next to A40, wonderful place to walk. I hope you loved and enjoyed this video. Please let us know 
what more you want to listen from us please let us know what characters you want us to discuss and if this video has been a blessing to you please let us know in what way has God touched you through this video I hope you have a great week ahead thank you